Well, it's Tuesday, mm -hmm. and we're, we're in the filing cabinets again. There's a lot of stuff to go through. There's so much stuff. This is a really interesting thing. Um, how it managed to find its way into my care and feeding is beyond me. And uh, well, I kind of know how it landed here, but now I don't quite know what to do. It's we're fascinating. We're not talking about me, are we? No, no, oh. we're, we're talking about <laughs> Ger Gerald Best's book. Now you what? might know the, the rail historian Jerry Best, Gerald yes. Best, who was Walt Disney's good friend and Ward Kimball's good friend and had one of the locomotives on Ward Kimball's Grizzly Flats Railroad. And he would wow. buy, buy locomotives to use in movies. And so, uh, he was a rail historian, a really famous rail historian, and he wrote all of these books. Well, he was working on a book with Jack Douglas, who was a, a, a purveyor of model railroad stuff in both Denver and Salt Lake City. Hmm. And the two of them were working on a book together about the Central Pacific. And I guess uh, one or the other keeled over dead. Anyway, they never wrote the book. They never finished the book. And guess who has the book? You have the book. Because after Jack, after Jerry Best died, Jack got it. And then after Jack died, this other guy got it. And after that guy, got sick and tired of it, he gave it to Steve, and Steve hid it under his railroad, and then when he was tearing his railroad apart, guess what popped up? The book. The book, and he didn't know what to do with it, and he said, you collect garbage here. <laughs> so it's all these great notes and bits of paper and photographs and oh stuff. Oh, my. He was, uh, he was putting together the entire roster of the Central Pacific in like 1875, oh and um, I, I'm not quite sure exactly what. I do know what, what is here is, is uh, information on every single locomotive that was on the roster and photographs of every single oh. locomotive, and that's what's in this bizarre and interesting collection, collection. That, oh, my. that I've just stumbled into blithely. Mm -hmm. Jack was an interesting character. He mm. had a, a hobby shop in Salt Lake City. It's where my very first train came from. Oh. I did business with Jack when, when Kevin and I had the <laughs> hobby shop. Uh, we weren't necessarily his favorite people. Well, nobody was his favorite people. He had a way of telling you where you stood with him at all times. But that was Jack. But his good friend was Irv Athern. Oh. And the two of them made uh, Atherin trains, and they were assembling the uh, the the car kits in Jack's basement, and uh, so it's this amazing bit of history oh, my. of the model railroading industry and model history, and because then Jerry Best turns out to be a friend of Jack's too, and oh, um, and Jerry's book ends up in our filing cabinet hmm. here. And I don't know what to do with it. Um, I've thought about if the uh, California State Railroad Museum wants it, yeah. I might just, I'd give it to them if they right. want it. But it needs to be preserved. I, or, or finished. Or finished, You know, right. or just publish it as an unfinished book or whatever they want to do with it. Somebody needs to do something with well, it. Well, it'd be nice for everybody to have a look at those pictures. It's amazing. Well, and a lot of them are really sketchy. He was looking for better versions, and so he'd just get Xeroxes and stuff as placeholders while he was looking for the better pictures. Mm. But he did manage to have one photograph of every single engine on the roster mm. in some form or so another. Cool and all the information about it, build dates, serial numbers, the entire Central Pacific wow. roster. And, I, and he picked some date, but it was like somewhere in 1875 or something. It was when the Transcontinental Railroad oh was wow. the Transcontinental Railroad. What a find. What a find. Yeah. And, and I was going through all this stuff that was under Steve's layout, and he said, I don't even know what it is. Here, you take it. Stuff. Amazing. Stuff. Amazing, amazing. When you and and like I said, I've never tried to collect paper. I've never considered myself a collector of these kinds of things, and yet there's a filing cabinet uh, full of full of, of it, treasures. Full <laughs> of this kind of stuff because stuff falls on me like this. Right. It does. So it goes. Well, if you uh, if you haven't been over to the channel, do pop over to the channel. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe right? because it's cool. Mm -hmm. You'll be notified and, and then you'll find out if we ever find something to do with Jerry's book. Yes. Yeah, so oh, you can be, you can be included in the, the loop on mm -hmm. that. Or, and if you happen to know 
someone that, that might want to be interested in doing something with this, or if you're with mm -hmm. the California State Railroad Museum and you guys want to finish the book, you just want the manuscript or whatever the heck it is. Right. There's a comment. There it is. So we mm -hmm. can try to tie all that up. Mm -hmm. Well, if you haven't been over to the channel, pop on over to the channel and subscribe. We already <laughs> said that, but we're going around in a circle here. We're good that's, at that, that's too. What, that's what yeah. model trains do. Revolutionary. So if you haven't been over to the channel, do... Okay, no. And here's your chance. Are we ready for it? <laughs> blue button. Are we ready for the blue button? You're not ready for the blue button. Here it comes. Blue button. You ready? <laughs> Zoing. Right there. Blue button. Well, we're not sure how you found this movie on the internet, and we hope you didn't find it boring. And Never. we will see you on Sunday <laughs> with some of the Sunday driving around stuff. See you. Bye. Bye bye.